students arrive to the classroom with unique needs. And when these needs are not met, behaviors can manifest that are attempts to balance or meet those needs. Often, these behaviors are counter to a productive learning environment. But to simply address the behavior is to overlook the student's underlying need, and with it, the long-term solution that will serve both the student and the classroom environment. My name is Bill Fordyce, and this is a module entitled Figure Me Out ASAP. In this module, I will discuss those underlying student needs that manifest in unproductive behaviors in the classroom. Through this video, you will learn to name the four primary student needs that can lead to unproductive behaviors, separate need fulfillment from unproductive behavior, and consider a philosophy that addresses needs versus a philosophy that addresses behaviors. ASAP is an acronym for the four primary student needs that can cause behaviors that disrupt a classroom learning environment. A refers to attention. S to sensory needs. The second A refers to students avoidance of failure. And P refers to the need for power. Now attention needs may manifest in potentially two different ways. The first manifestation is the student who is seeking attention. And the second expression of attention as a need is the student who avoids attention. Sensory needs may manifest as visual, auditory, tactile, or kinesthetic needs. Students may be under or over stimulated in one or more of these areas. For example, some students may find it difficult to focus when there are many different sights or sounds in it, around them. Imagine the response of an elementary student to a brightly colored or busily decorated classroom or a music classroom that has many different instruments that are playing all at once. Students may also have tactile needs that are needs of touch or kinesthetic needs of movement. Avoidance of failure may manifest in many different students, but it's common amongst high achieving students or students that have high expectations put upon them. For whatever reason, they develop a fear of failure. And this can appear as either non-participation or even outright defiance. The defiance can be a mask for that underlying fear, for if they discredit the activity, they may save face with their peers if they do fail. And lastly, power. Part of child development is the increasing pursuit of autonomy. The balance between the development of and access to that independence can cause a need for power. Some students develop this need because they rarely have their own authority challenged. Conversely, some students make no life choices on their own and are seeking a place where their opinion is valued or a person who values it. In summary, if behaviors are addressed as genuine needs, a solution may be found. To simply address the behavior may be to deny the cause and thereby the solution. In this module, we've discussed Figure Me Out ASAP. The purpose of this module was to erase awareness of the differences between needs-based versus behavior-based student care. Disruptive behaviors may be attributed to four key needs. Attention is a need that may be sought or avoided. Sensory needs can be visual, auditory, tactile, or kinesthetic. Avoidance of failure may appear as non-compliance or reluctance to participate, while power can be a student's attempt to make sense of autonomy that is either abundant or lacking in their life. 
The next module will provide case examples for each need type and strategies for addressing those needs.